Mount Olympus in Wisconsin Dells. Back in the kitchen now with Christine, the happy cookie lady. What are we making, Christine? Sand dollar cookies. And they look just like it. So cute for your beach party or a day at the beach to bring a special treat. This one won't melt. It'll pack up just fine for the yeah, beach. Yeah, you can take this one without fear. I love it. Um, <laughs> and they really do look exactly like sand dollars. So, all right, let's get started. Well, we're going to start with um, three quarters cup of butter. And for this one, I would suggest actually using the butter because there are very few ingredients in okay. this. Okay, so real butter. So basically, we soften that at room temperature a yeah. little bit. Okay, get that in there. Okay, and we've got uh, some pow uh, powdered sugar. Okay. I think it's a third cup. And we'll put the full recipe on our website. Okay. Got powdered sugar and then uh, four and a half teaspoons of granulated sugar. And we're going to mix that together. So cream the butter and the sugar together. Which is how most cookies start. And I probably should give that a few minutes to really kind of yeah. do its thing. Just to make sure it's creamy. Now this doesn't make a big batch. It only makes 9 to 12 cookies. So if you wanted more, you'd have to double or triple it. Okay, so, so that's a good point. Uh, and why not? You're going to go through the hassle, double or triple the recipe. Yeah. All right, so okay. we're creaming together the butter and the sugar. Okay, right. that's good. Okay. And then we're going to add... Um, about a quarter teaspoon of salt okay. to the flour. There isn't a lot of, of uh, flour in this recipe either. So, okay. Let's see if I can get it in here without dumping it all over your stove top. That's okay. You know what? Get the kids in the kitchen to help with baking cookies and decorating the cupcakes. They have fun with this one. They would, and you know, it teaches them how to measure. Uh, I always say, if you don't teach them to cook, they're not going to learn how. You know, a lot of the, the schools have canceled, you know, because of budget cuts. They don't have those home ec programs anymore. Mm -hmm. And uh, they grow up quick. I've got a son going off to college this year, and i still got lots to teach him in the kitchen. So, um, you know, it's just a fun thing. Kids love it, and then they take pride in it. And oh, yeah. uh, first they'll start with the treats, and next thing you know, they'll be having to make breakfast. And the hope is that one day they'll be making dinner for you. So, that would be nice. Yes. All right, so the, okay. getting the flour in here. Now we're going to add some almond extract. We're going to add uh, two teaspoons teaspoons of almond extract. Now if you don't like almond, you could use vanilla. I love it. It smells so, so good. Yeah, I do too. Mm. Okay. Okay. That's fun. Does that look good? That looks good. Okay. Now what you're going to do with that is you're going to wrap it up in saran wrap and keep it in the fridge for 30 minutes to an hour um, so it gets a little easier to handle. I noticed if I, I had it overnight and it got too hard because the butter seized up. I'm just ready to set it out. Okay. So. All right. Good tip though. So this is a little bit of a make ahead. Now you're going to take an egg and beat it slightly. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to take some uh, of the dough that's already made. And it's been in the refrigerator for a little bit to mm -hmm. set up. It's going to just be easier to roll that way. Yeah. And you're going to need about a three and a half inch round. Now if you don't have a round, um, a round uh, cookie cutter. You could always use a glass. Okay. Just find one that's sure. you know about three and a half. Sure. Three and a, you know three three and a half inches. I'm just using a little bit of flour. This is still a little bit um, hard to roll out because but it was it, too cold. But it does roll out very nice. It's not it does. breaking it's, up. It's a real nice yeah. dough. Now there's really no leavening in here, no baking soda or baking powder or anything like that. Um, but what you're going to do is roll it to about an eighth of an inch. Okay. And it's one of those doughs that you take what's left and make another okay. ball of dough with it. Like you're making Christmas cookies. Right. Okay. You're going to cut it out. And you're going to stick it on your, I, I use, you can either use ungreased or parchment lined pan. Okay. We love lining our cookie trays with I'm parchment. I'm learning to, to love parchment. You oh. know, at first I go, it's too expensive. but You can reuse it too yeah. if you're baking, you know. Uh, A you whole know. bunch of batches. Yeah, exactly. You're going to brush this with the beaten egg. And then you're going to take five pieces of the slivered almonds. Okay. And you're going to make kind of the star pattern in the middle that the sand dollar has. This is easy. It's easy. It's very easy, but it comes out looking really neat because it actually looks like a sand dollar when it's baked. Now here's the fun part. And you sprinkle it with cinnamon and sugar. If you don't have a bottle of the ready-made, you can do your own mixture. Just some cinnamon and sugar, mix it together, sprinkle it on top. Yeah. Oven temperature? About 325. This is a low-baking one. About 12 to 16 minutes till the edges start start to brown, and you're going to want to um, 
use a, a spatula to get it off to okay. make sure you get it cool. Cool Don't for about two it. minutes okay. and then move to a wire rack. So. All right, wonderful. And here they are all on a plate. You can see they really look exactly like sand dollars and they taste great with the cinnamon sugar. Christine, always a pleasure to it's see fun you. To come. Yeah, it's a great idea today. Love those cupcakes too. Uh, for the recipes that Christine did, you can find them on our website, fox11online.com. Click on the Living tab and recipes, and they'll be right there. Or uh, get a hold of Christine on Facebook, uh, Happy Cookie Lady, and she'll be happy to bake some cookies for your next event. We'll be back. Stay with us.